Ladies and gentlemen, Bua, Buna Ziwa. Uh, I just arrived. I'm in my first 100 days, so I will not do this speech in Romania, and that's impossible for me at this moment, but I hope to learn it in due course when I'm in your country. Um, and thank you for inviting me today. Um, indeed, uh, the relationship in agriculture between Romania and the Netherlands is excellent. Just two weeks ago, our both ministers met and State Secretary Turtor and I had the pleasure to um, uh, accommodate that visit uh, in the relationship to the upcoming presidency of the Netherlands, uh, EU presidency of the Netherlands as well. And there we discussed agriculture in depth. Um, my job here at the embassy is being the agriculture uh, uh, a counselor and make the connection uh, uh, also on a business-to-business -business level uh, between our two countries. And it's a pleasure to work in Romania. It's one of the countries with the greatest potential for agriculture. And today you are all sitting here to unlock that potential uh, more and more. And I'm happy to present you some of the observations based on the experiences uh, with rural development across uh, Europe from the Netherlands. Um, R Romania is more than a country with great potential and a ravaging uh, beautiful nature. It has also a well-educated, hard-working population of 20 million people. And it's also strategically located between Europe and the East, making it an excellent logistics hub. Romania is a country that we like to do business with. Trade between our countries is expanding steadily, and the Netherlands is the biggest foreign investor uh, uh, in Romania. But our bilateral relationships are not only about trade. They are about cooperation, especially in agriculture. Prior to the accession of the Euro to the European Union, the Dutch Ministry of Agriculture has worked with the Romanian Ministry of Agriculture and Rural Development and executed many twinning projects related to the common agricultural policy, the creation of a paying agency, but also in the areas of food safety, animal health, and plant health. After accession, this co cooperation has continued. Numerous businesses, uh, to business contacts have been developed and Dutch agri companies, large and small, have set up office in Romania and also several Dutch farmers have established farms in Romania. Under the guidance of the letter of intent sent, signed last year with the Romanian ministry, we have engaged in uh, cooperation in three particular sectors, dairy, fruit and greenhouse horticulture. This cooperation wants to create a perfect partnership between Dutch knowledge and technology and young Romanian entrepreneurs. Um, it aims to help Romanian farmers that have an interest to become more cost price effective, thus being better able to cope with the market situation with training and suggestions for sensible investments. All these forms of collaboration show that our countries have common ground. Of course, your country has uh, mountains and mine is flat. Yours, yours is, to, a, to an extent, largely rural. Mine is highly urbanized. But by and large, we face the same challenges. How can we make our agricultural sector more competitive while securing jobs for the future? What is the role of agriculture in a living countryside? How can we raise production levels and contribute to global food security? How can we make agriculture climate smart? Can we halve our inputs to boost climate resilience and reduce greenhouse gas emissions? These challenges ask for a call for strategic choices at global level, at European level, and at regional member state level. These choices are reflected in the new common agricultural policy. The first pillar contains clear rules for support for farmers and establishes a level playing field. 
And this is a key conditioning for a well-functioning internal market. And for consolidation, the position of European agriculture on the world market. And the common agricultural uh, second pillar is, of course, rural development that we discussed today. This policy aims to make the uh, sector more sustainable and more innovative and to protect important values like natural beauty and livability. At EU level, uh, the main priorities are set, but it is up to the member states and the regions to design programs geared to its, their own uh, situation and challenges. Romania's rural development uh, program focuses mainly on tri three priority areas, promoting competitiveness and restructuring in Romania's large agricultural sector, environmental protection and climate change, and stimulating economic development, job creation, and a better uh, quality of life in Romanian villages. In that sense, the Romanian Rural Development Programme will help to modernize farms and cooperatives, support the development of small farms, and help young farmers to start up. And you are also dedicated uh, uh, a significant part of this budget to modernize fruit production. You want to uh, step up cooperation between farms, processing companies, and research institutions. This should lead to new products and shorter supply chains. And these are all commendable ambitions. And it's with regard to that last goal, closer public-private cooperation, that the Netherlands could play a bigger role than we do today. We have a lot of experience with cooperation between businesses, including farmers, knowledge in institutions, and the government. And these partnerships have led to a deeper understanding uh, and new technologies, like milking robots, drought-resistant plant materials, new fruit varieties, irrigation systems, and energy-producing greenhouses. We want to share and apply this expertise with other countries to take innovation further. Because we are convinced that innovation is key to a successful agricultural sector in Europe now and in the future. And today's conference focuses on the accessibility of funds that are available and that could make that happen. Money that will help to build the future of Romania in agriculture. And let me tell you that also in my country, it is not simple to get that support. The administrative procedures are also quite heavy. <laughs> and from that point of view, we really do have a level playing field in Europe. The difference, however, might be that Dutch farmers have access um, uh, to good uh, help via their farmers' associations and consultants, and also have more experience in seeking the finance for their investment plans. And it's not only about writing the proposal and finding the financial sources, it's also about having the necessary knowledge to make the projects deliver the goals they intend to reach. And here, the Netherlands can offer its agronomical knowledge that is part of our bilateral uh, cooperation. Holland is famous for dairy, fruit, and vegetable production. And currently, we have three consortia that, uh, for these sectors that work with Romania. Holland Dairy House, Holland Fruit House, and Holland House of Horticulture do offer knowledge, innovation, training, and equipment that will help to serve the customers year-round with products of high constant quality. They are here to add the necessary practical knowledge uh, to make applications for projects that can be submitted successful. And I wish that today's conference will contribute uh, uh, that all of you can help to use all the money that Romania and the EU have allocated to these rural development plans. And I invite all of you to come and visit uh, our consortia during the upcoming Indagra in November here in Bucharest. Thank you for your attention. <laughs>